Hi, this is Beth Jones at BethJones.net, and I'm so glad that you're here today. I wanted to share about a movie that I saw last night. It was really good. It was called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, and it was about a 13-year-old boy, Will, who saved his village, Wimbe, that's in Malawi, Africa, from famine, and it was to, I strongly encourage you to watch the movie. Basically, he had this big dream to create water from a windmill and he winded up creating a windmill and later a wind turbine to help save his village from famine and it was just so good and at first nobody believed in him or his dream and he he loved learning he loved school he had a very scientific mind very smart and he winded up going to the school library and finding books on energy and windmills and other things. And that gave him, gave him the creative ideas to create one for his village. He did a small prototype first and then later created a much larger windmill. So it was just a fascinating movie and I encourage you to watch it. Have you ever had a dream like that, a big dream? And I've got my cup here today, my coffee cup, and it's dream big. Recently bought it and I love it. It's got a world map on it because I love to travel. Do you have a big dream? Do you have a big dream about writing a book, speaking? What is your big dream? So I want to encourage you today to not let anyone stop you from that big dream. This, this boy even got expelled from school. And his father told him to stop playing with toys. He called his his invention a toy. And he said he needed to help him plant the field. He needed to help him do the labor with him. And that was very discouraging to, to Will. And actually in the movie, his dog winded up dying, his beloved dog. That was really sad. He died of starvation. And it seemed like all hope was lost when his father didn't believe in him and his dog died, but he he kept on. He didn't stop, and so eventually he had success. When I was growing up, nobody was encouraging my dreams either. I've shared this with you before. Maybe you've seen other videos or mine or read it in my books that all I wanted to be when I was a child was a mom and a writer when I grew up, and I am the mom of three beautiful daughters, Heather, Eden, and Leah, and I am the author of 21 books, and I'm still writing. I'll be writing the rest of my life. Why? Because I love to write, and it's a talent that God has given me. He's put it into my heart to write, so I'll always be writing. Same thing with speaking. God actually had to drag me into speaking. Why? Because I was scared to death to, to speak in front of people. I would physically shake. I would feel like I was going to faint. I would sweat. It was horrible. <laughs> and then eventually God began opening other doors for me to speak. I, I started out speaking, sharing my personal testimony, which is in this book, Promises in the Dark, When Women Search for Authentic Love. This is on Amazon. But with speaking, I began sharing my personal testimony. I have a very painful past, but God has redeemed it and he's given me beauty for ashes. And so God knew that I needed to speak, to share this story, the things that he has done in my life, the great things he has done. Same thing with writing my books. I write what I believe God tells me to write. And I know a lot of people that say, I want to write a book or I want to speak. They've been saying it for years and they still haven't done it yet. And I want to encourage you and motivate you to write your book, to speak to share the messages God has put in your heart, to share your story. I believe everyone has a story to tell. And I believe God has put messages in our hearts to share with other people using our spiritual gifts for his glory. Tonight is the last night for my for signing up for my virtual training. And then the doors are going to shut. And so I want to encourage you, if you want to write a book, or you want to finish a book and get it published on Amazon or published somewhere, I want to encourage you to sign up for this training. It is Refreshing Waters. Make sure you can see it. RefreshingWaters.VIPMemberVault.com RefreshingWaters.VIPMemberVault.com 
membervault.com. And this is the last day you can get in. So I encourage you to join me and other aspiring authors and speakers. We're going to be meeting on Zoom once a week for a live training. You have eight modules to go through where there's short videos, short lessons, worksheets to download, and also some bonuses, some fresh content that I've never given before. And it's all in one place. It teaches you exactly what I've done to write my books and to step out speaking. It, it tells you my process. It tells you my formula and my secret sauce. How have I done this? How have I written 21 books? How did I get started speaking? And how do I get speaking gigs? So I want to encourage you to sign up for that. Midnight tonight, February 28th, is the deadline. And then the doors are going to shut. I probably will offer this training later, but I want to encourage you to not wait any longer because I believe many of you have waited long enough. Now, this is open to both women and men. Usually my niche is Christian women, but I felt like God told me to open it up to men also. And don't be intimidated by that. Don't be, you know, oh my gosh, this is all for women. Or, you know, if you're a woman, oh my gosh, there's going to be a man in there. We want to bring in there who God wants to be in this training, to encourage you and to motivate you that this is a year to share your message. This is a year to write your book. This is a year to step out speaking. And this is a training manual for the class. It's my book, How to Write Your Book Fast, Making Your Writing Dreams Come True. And I want to close with a quote that was on this movie. And it is, God is like the wind, which touches everything. And I absolutely love that. God is like the wind, which touches everything. And I want to encourage you that your writing and your speaking can touch everything. You never know how God is going to use your speaking and your writing. God has sent me to eight other nations to speak, to share my story, to share his message. He can do the same for you and even more. So I hope you'll join me. Again, that is refreshingwaters.vip membervault.com. Tonight at midnight is the deadline to invest in this class, and I hope you'll be joining me. So be blessed and have a beautiful day. This is Beth Jones at BethJones.net, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.